Round one, we have the choice we're going to play first. Mm, Got to mull that one. Uh, looks like we should probably mull the five here. I could keep, but we're pretty... Pretty important that we see any land, and we definitely kind of want green. I think we mull one more time. All right, this is not a good keep, but I think we're going to keep it anyway. All right. Guess I can trade my cheetah for a Gus Walker. I don't really love that. But probably do it. I guess the plan is our scaled behemoth. Doing something. Oh, getting it back. Yeah, it's going to be pretty bad news for us. All right. I mean, the scaled behemoth can still win us the game because it is that good. All right. Okay. So we're in pretty serious trouble, but uh, I guess we'll kill the captain with our pouncing cheetah. Or try to. So play the big dude. So you can give double strike, letting this deal six damage. So we're going to need removal of some sort here. That's a weird green spell to see. Well, Wing Shepherd's a good rip, so we'll play that and then we gotta pass. Oh. 
All right, that's a good rip too. So we'll get in with these two. Um, they can just block with the cultivator and sack it, but we want to force them to do that anyway. <clears throat> I guess they can exert and give this double strike, though. Never mind. Because then it's three power double strike. Okay, can't do anything about that. So we'll play this and pass. I'm trying to think. If he gives the Gustwalker double strike now, I probably don't block it and go to two. Because then at least my spider can live. Oh, Monument. Not the sexiest top deck. Giving Trample is good for our scaled BMS, but we're going to need better than that. Alright, Samet's pretty much going to be unbeatable for us here. I guess it is beatable, it's just it's so insanely good. Yeah, I think we're possibly... No, I don't think we're dead, but pretty close. All right, I guess I can only block that. Take three. Well, start to finish, not so bad. Maybe they overextend. Well, this could work out well for us. So, we got to play this. And then we decide what we want to eat here. So, I got to block a flyer. And then I guess we eat... Uh, might have to eat trampler don't we because otherwise we take too much damage so then I guess we gotta chump there all right so we definitely got annihilated here so, I mean, we survived quite a long time for being on the Mull of Five, but yeah, we definitely got destroyed. So I guess Shardworm Convergence has to go, because our opponent's playing some weird Naya Aggro thing, but I don't know why I like Cultivators in there. It seems very out of place. Um, but yeah, we I mean, we can absolutely win this match, just based on what I've seen. There, I mean, there's some really good cards in there, but... We've got all the removal in the world, so we should be able to win this. I think we ditch the Convergence, and then we bring in another Impeccable Timing. I'm not sure there's anything else we really need.
Could do a Gus Walker 2 over Monument. It's not that good defensively, though. We could do the those who serve. That kind of makes sense because... Hmm. Block some of the ground guys. Yeah, kind of makes sense. So we'll cut like a monument just because it's a little bit slow. Okay. Try this. I think we still have enough big finishers too. So unfortunately we have to mulligan here. Okay, I guess we're going to five again, which is kind of a bummer, but what can you do? All right, I guess we got to keep this one. We'll keep that on top. Okay. So I guess we're going to play a cheetah and then ideally be able to eat something. Uh huh. Okay. So I guess we can eat the Gust Walker. I guess the sad part is I can't really attack. Because then they can Just block my cheetah. Well, at least they're exerting, I guess that's good. So I'm hoping I can just eat this too and then bash for five. Well, I mean, technically I can. It's just not a super exciting one. Well, yeah, I guess that's what we do. Exerting both. Huh. It's 
pretty interesting. So I guess we'll kill the higher power guy. Uh, it's a bummer, but bummers happen. I wish I could do so much more. So, and they didn't even use their unwavering initiate, and they don't have to. All right, let's cycle this, I guess. So we got to cycle this, too, because otherwise we're just dead. And I can't play that because I don't have any white mana left. All right. So, I actually, I really like our deck a lot, which is why I'm disappointed about losing this match. But, I mean, double mold of five, I've just, I have nothing I can do. My deck just completely kicked the crap out of me. I, d I mean, it, the thing is, I feel like we so easily could have won this only because I mold of five both times. And look how long it took my opponent to kill me, like... I feel like if we'd had our solid seven cards, we, we easily would have been able to crush here. Look at this. I mean, they haven't even killed us yet. They're not using their unwavering initiate from the graveyard, which would have just put us away. Just not using the initiate, which is so funny. <laughs> and then he <laughs> lose to Juru's resolve. So I'm, the only thing that's so disappointing about this is, like, our opponent gave us so many opportunities. We had so many opportunities. And our deck just crapped out on us right in the beginning. We had to mull the five twice. So I, I, we could have crushed this match. I'm pretty upset about it, but that's all right. So hopefully we do better in uh, rounds two and three here.